is your first alert five weather with Sam Schreier. Beautiful but hot views out across southern Colorado. Colorado Springs 84 and we still have a little warmth to go later today in that nice view again across the mountains. Just a few clouds popping over those summits back into the front range. 90 in Pueblo. So I said Pueblo would warm probably the quickest today. And the impressive thing is the wind isn't even that strong. Usually that wind will help mix your warm air around today. It's just really calm over the city. Which kind of stinks because that breeze will help you feel a little bit cooler. Now your temperature is 84 in the springs, 90 in Pueblo, right up near 100 already in Lamar. So we're heating the plains very efficiently and we're still pretty warm in the mountains, right around 80 from La Vida up towards Woodland Park, which is still at 79. Water vapor imagery. Look at this beautiful counterclockwise or cyclonic swirl. This is an upper level low pressure system that's giving us a little lift, starting to pop some storms down in southern Colorado. Now, Here's what we're looking for. We want rain up and around that spring fire, that burn scar. Most of it has been south, kind of by Monument Park, Weston, basically hugging the highway here as it curves around towards Trinidad, with a few more showers and storms developing just east of Highway 350. But in the newest model run or the newest scans of the radar, check it out. Just a little bit of rain right over the top of the north side of the spring fire. And this is the area that really needs that rain. The north side has been burning the most efficiently here. So this is going to be some good news. Remember, if you live down there, flash flooding is a concern in that Highway 160 corridor and some of the southern edge. It's already had a little rain on it. Now, your hour by hour kind of nailed that we were going to get some rain down there, and it's a little slower on that rain through the plains, but we know that's already forming. So over the next couple hours, we are going to see more rain stretch through the Trinidad area, especially over towards Los Angeles County into Otero. One or two storms may try to lift into Colorado Springs to the late afternoon but that chance is pretty low. The big bulk of the rain will stay around that spring fire area to the plains, and then we may get a little circulation back towards Park County, probably not so much into Teller. Looking at the rest of your day, here's what we're forecasting. Colorado Springs trying to get up to 90, not out of the question, but I do think you're going to be pretty dry. It's only a 20% chance of rain, and if we did get it, it'd be a real isolated chance of you actually seeing anything. Thursday and Friday, the chances are best in the mountains, but the hope is we will see some rain spill over into Colorado Springs, and a few more chances are there by the end of the weekend. Pueblo, similar look to the forecast here. Very hot today, 97 at least. If you did hit at 98, wouldn't shock me today. Got a 10% chance of rain, but really that's more thinking eastern El Paso County, or eastern Pueblo County gets your moisture. Thursday, Friday, you got chances, not the best chances in the world, but you do have a couple chances for rain with better chances possibly towards next Sunday. Kind of waiting to see if I can lift that chance up towards a 40 or 50%. Canyon City, looking like you will try to get some rain tomorrow and Friday through the weekend. That's where the chances go down a little bit, but hey, a rain chance is a rain chance, especially with how dry we've been. Finally, Woodland Park seeing better moisture for the next seven days, especially for Thursday and Friday. Bree?